All right, now who doesn't want to win an election? It now turns out that Cambridge Analytica may have been in talks with political parties not only in India, but also in Bangladesh and Sri Lanka as well to try and help them map out how to win the general elections in their respective countries. Now, all of which are due in the span of the next two years. Take a look at this report. They are said to be behind Donald Trump's unexpected win in the 2016 U.S. elections. Is the company accused of harvesting personal data without the consent of Facebook users now in talks with political parties across South Asia? Indian media reports say Cambridge Analytica's India partner OBI has held preliminary talks with both the Congress and the BJP for a potential collaboration for the 2019 Indian general elections. One media report also says the company had given an opposition party in India a presentation and had chalked out a data-driven strategy to target voters on social media, analyzing online user behavior and connecting the dots across different citizen databases. It seems the company has worked previously with the ruling JDU for the Bihar Assembly elections in 2010. On its website, Cambridge Analytica says its client achieved a landslide victory with over 90% of total seats targeted by CA being won. Not just India, it seems the company is reaching out to top political players in other countries in South Asia in the run-up to key elections in Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. Reports say the company has held talks with former Sri Lankan President Mahinda Rajapaksa who's making a bid to get re-elected in 2020 and with Bangladesh's ruling Awami League, which is seeking re-election in 2019. If these reports are indeed true, then data could hold the key to crucial elections in India and its neighbourhood, whether voters like it or not. Bureau Report, Beyond.